There are two equations that we are going to use in this lesson, and here they are. The mirror equation, 1 over p plus 1 over q equals 1 over f, and the magnification equation, m is equal to h prime over h, which is also equal to opposite q over p. Down below we see the definitions for the variables that are in these equations and their sign conventions. I explained those a little bit in an earlier lesson, so I won't do so now. Possibly the most important thing to remember when you're using these equations is if you have a concave mirror, the focal length is positive. If you have a convex mirror, the focal length is negative. In a previous lesson, I also went through the mnemonic for remembering that the object distance is symbolized by a lowercase p and the image distance symbolized by a lowercase q. If you take the b in object and you flip it upside down, it turns into a p. If you take the g in image and you turn the little crook the other way, it turns into a q. That's one way to remember that the object distance in these lessons will always be symbolized by a p and the image distance symbolized by a q. It also turns out that inverted images are always real images. Upright images are always virtual. In other words, inverted and real, IR, go together. Upright and virtual, UV, go together. And if you remember that IR is kind of an abbreviation for infrared and UV is an abbreviation for ultraviolet, that might help you remember that inverted images are always real images and upright images are always virtual. So let's do an example. We have a concave mirror that has a radius of magnitude 55 centimeters. Now we know that that's positive 55 and not negative 55 because we have a concave mirror. And concave mirrors always have positive focal lengths and a positive radius of curvature. The object is 84 centimeters from the mirror, which means the object distance p is 84 centimeters, and the height is 24 centimeters. And we want to find the focal length, the image distance, and the magnification, and we want to describe the image. So the focal length is half of the radius of curvature, so the focal length is going to be 27 and a half centimeters. We also want to know what the image distance q is and what the magnification is. Let's write out the mirror equation. We're going to now solve this equation for q. And I'll do it once and trust that you'll be able to do it any time after that. We're going to subtract 1 over p from both sides. Then we're going to take the reciprocal of both sides. I'm okay with having fractions in the denominator, so I'm going to leave it that way. That's going to be the simplest way to do that. In no case should you write that q is equal to f minus p. You can't do that mathematically. So now let's put in the numbers that we have. We have the focal length. We have the object distance. It's very important that you type that into your calculator using your x to the minus 1 key or your 1 over x key and make sure that you get that answer. If you don't get that answer, you're doing it wrong. It's worth practicing to make sure that you are able to successfully get that correct answer out of your calculator. There's no point in being able to show the work and yet do it wrong on your calculator. Obviously this is a real image because Q is positive and we know that inverted images are always real images therefore this object must be inverted. And if we want to find the magnification, we could take h prime over h, or we could take opposite of q divided by p. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the opposite of q divided by p. The centimeter units fall away. Magnification turns out to be simply a number, in this case a negative number. That number, having a magnitude less than 1, is going to tell us that this is a smaller image than the object and real images are always on the left. If we were to draw this out using our ray diagram rules that we covered in a previous lesson, we would go parallel to the principal axis and reflect through the focal point. 
then we'd go through the focal point and we would reflect parallel to the principal axis and there is our image. That is a real image, it's inverted and it's smaller, just like we said with the math. If we wanted to calculate the height of that image, we could do so. It's 11.7 centimeters.